I'm Dr. Pani Madhuri. I'm a consultant reproductive medicine at Matutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Yes, I think the miscarriage rates are slightly higher in poor ovarian reserve patients because of primarily poor air quality. Now when I say there are poor ovarian reserve patients which are expected poor responders and unexpected poor responders. Now when I say expected poor responders is when I categorize you as a poor responder based on your criteria or whatever I've mentioned earlier. And these are the segment of women who also can have qualitatively poorer oocytes. Once the quality of the oocytes is poorer, they tend to have a lot of genetic abnormalities, which is what is primarily responsible for the increased miscarriage rates. They could be small leaks in the X chromosome, there can be variations in monosomies or trisomies or a variant of Turner syndrome or a fragile X syndrome, which can be responsible for an abnormal oocyte in these patients hence also increase the miscarriage rates. But if you are an young patient and you have an unexpected poor response, I don't think so the miscarriage rates could be drastically different from the peer group. That is, the egg quality could still be superior and the miscarriage rates could be similar to what you see in other population of the same age group. So I guess it is very individualistic uh, criteria that miscarriage rates could be a little different and definitely in advanced maternal age, if the age of the mother or the expectant mother is more than 35 years according to the Indian criteria or about 40 years which is definitely very high, the miscarriage rates are higher.